going to begin the corrosion of what we have to understand today is way in the way of our First Amendment rights. That's their whole purpose for getting on the court. Would you agree or disagree? Oh, I've, listen, I've read also, these. She cites, she's a big friend of Cass Sunstein. She mentions him in this 1996. Well, he's the one that brought her into Harvard. And, of course, she's a former Goldman Sachs member. And, and, and he, he minces no words. He says, I want to arrest people. And we've read his quotes. No, I mean, I agree with you totally. I've read the same law papers that you've read. I just want to get your view uh, on it. And, and, and it's just that it gets more and more incredible how brazen they are. I mean, this woman is not suited. She's never tried a case. She's never been a judge. She's but a millionaire. So she's, I guess the fact... She's a millionaire, Alex. Don't forget that. Yeah, so she's rich, so it's okay. Right. Hey, Alex, you know, let's get back to the... What she wrote in 1981. You know, she was a student at Princeton, and she had to write a thesis. So she sat out, and, and you know that somebody... You know, but listen, let's go back to the days when you and I, you and I were that, that, that age, you know, early 20s. Has your mindset really changed since you were 20, 21? No. You, you, you got no, to I've know only, a smarter, you've learned more facts, and you've matured in your same beliefs. Yes, my, yes, I was I was pro Second Amendment, pro property rights, patriotic American, and uh, my parents passed on what I can now look back in hindsight the proper you know view, the only view, pro liberty, true freedom, true individualism, and it's only become more seasoned and more intense. Well, she she's from the same mold. She, she has gone down through the same process. She was socialistic. She wouldn't sit down and write 130 pages about the history of socialism in a 20-year period at the first part of the 20th century, 1901 through about 1919, 1920. She writes a history of, you know, why the socialistic movement in New York, you know, got rolling and, you know, how it had to go through a bunch of battles and, you know, how it waned and, you know, didn't have any influence. Now, that is so, when you sit down and read what she wrote in her thesis, you can tell she's not someone that is against communism. She is somebody that throws in all the little places, you know, the glories of socialism. She loves it. Now, if well, stay there, stay there. You've got the thesis, and I haven't seen anybody cover this, so I'm glad you ferreted this out. Larry B. Craft, constitutional lawyer and scholar, is our guest. We're going to come back and go through her writings, go through what this thesis says, and uh, then I'm going to ask him about this new Second Amendment ruling. We'll be right back. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at efoodsdirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. Hello, Ted Anderson. Listeners of the network are familiar with the Federal Reserve note and understand the risks of deficit spending. Therefore, with catastrophic events, it comes as no surprise that some banks have currently placed limits on the amount of cash depositors can remove from their accounts. A fractional reserve system means only a small portion of your deposit is held in reserve for immediate withdrawal. Deficit spending will skyrocket through FDIC if the government is forced to insure deposits during a bank run followed by a depressed economy. A current effort is underway by the Fed along with other centers central banks to increase liquidity for depositors. However, an increase in money supply without equal expansion and productivity can cause inflation. In order to achieve strength and stability, I recommend a conservative portion of all investments to be calmly repositioned into gold and silver. While paper investments currently have been driven by debt, gold on its own has held value for over 6,000 years. For more information, call 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on earth. 
This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps, now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror, and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. If you suffer from poor sleep, you've got to try my pillow. Introducing the most revolutionary, most comfortable, and coolest pillow ever, my pillow. Imagine your very own custom fit pillow. My pillow is the only pillow of its kind on the market that uses a patented fill, custom made to your exact individual needs. My pillow is 100% made in the USA and has a natural built-in cooling effect that keeps your cervical nerves cool, and that helps you get the best REM sleep possible. My pillow helps alleviate snoring, migraine, sleep apnea, and other sleeping disorders. My pillow is antimicrobial, non-allergenic, dust mite resistant, machine washable and dryable, comes in many sizes and will not go flat. And best of all, my pillow comes with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. So what do you have to lose except poor sleep? Go to mypillowshop.com, mention coupon code GCN and receive up to $40 off. That's mypillowshop.com or call 952-442-6199. That's 952-442-6199. My pillow for the rest of your life. Larry Beecraft, constitutional lawyer, is our guest. We're looking at the confirmation of Elena Kagan. Will she be confirmed? Republicans are leaning towards, at least the leadership saying they're going to confirm her. You had four of the nine, that's a good point Larry made out of the gates, who said, we believe in total gun bans in America. It's not an individual right yesterday. And the way I read that decision is, but, but we'll talk about this in the next segment with him, is that, oh, you got a right but we can regulate it down to nothing. And so this is the first time the Supreme Court, from my knowledge, has ruled that they have a right to start restricting. So I see it as a big defeat um, uh, overall, kind of like the last ruling. Say, well, we can regulate and restrict them. You just can't be a total restriction. Uh, but we'll get Larry Beecraft's take on that coming up later. Larry, getting back into her thesis, here it is, conclusion to the thesis. Uh, as she's basically just talking about why the poor socialist didn't completely take America down and like they were able to in the Soviet Russia. Please continue. Well, Alex, the, I think her conclusion, you know, this is a lady that wrote about for 130 plus pages in her thesis, the glories of socialism. She examined a 20 year period. It shows to me she's, she's studying exactly what she likes. Now, the, the, the conclusion is a very good demonstration of how she feels. Could I read the very last paragraph of the conclusion of her thesis? Oh, no, read all the quotes you want directly right, from right her. Here, through its own internal feuding, then, the Socialist Party exhausted itself forever and further reduced labor radicalism in New York to the position of marginality and insignificance from which it has never recovered. The, the story is a sad but also chastening one for those who, more than a half a century after socialism's decline, still wish to change America. Radicals have often succumbed to the devastating bane of sectarianism. It is easier, after all, to fight one's fellows than it is to battle an entrenched and powerful foe. Yet if the, the history of local New York shows anything, it is that American radicals cannot afford to become their own worst enemies. In unity lies their only hope. She penned these words. She wants, she wants the forces of socialism that were battling each other back in the early part of the 20th century. Well, they're century a pack of parasites. They can never... In the battle to unite and become America's radicals. And, and, and of course they can't ever work together. They're a bunch of parasites. A bunch of vampires, and they can't. Vampires can't feed on vampires. But the big banks literally finance these monsters because they socialize working people's wealth and then give it to themselves. And the poor working people that got conned into socialism, they end up in a work camp. Did you see her yesterday and today? The way I've never seen somebody in a confirmation hearing 
uh, for the cabinet, for the military, scowl and act crazed. She is so arrogant. I mean, did you see that? Well, I heard your comments yesterday, you know, and only because of what you said yesterday. Did last night I watched on the boob tube some coverage of it, and I agree one hundred percent with what you had to say. She was scowling. I mean, you know, she, hey, she's scary to look at. What more do you need to say, Alex? Well, I mean, yeah, I see people that aren't the classic attractive all the time, but if they have a jovial.